All right, there is a little bit of confusion about this, but guess what? It's the all one great state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Northern Michigan, Southeast Michigan, West Michigan, wherever you got to say. But um, Gracie Whitmere has opened up or will open up casinos, I think, August 5th with restrictions. But at the same time, she is limiting or scaling back some of the uh, uh, things up north. So let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon like, button, share the video. I think they got movie theaters. They got... Uh, obviously, the restaurants is open, barber shops, gyms, and basically the cases must be growing up there. So she's limiting their indoor gatherings to ten, from fifty to ten. Also, no more sale of alcohol in nightclubs, which I don't know how. If you got the nightclubs still open, I don't know how you had that, how you oversee that. Um, so you kind of, you know, they kind of scaling it back up there. At the same time, she's opening the casinos, and at this point. Um, the casinos are looking at the tribal casinos um, around Michigan, and they opening they and, and they getting that money. You know what I'm saying? And the casinos is losing money. You know they've been closed since what the latter half of March, and if they don't open up soon, it's gonna be is they gonna just shut down. You gonna have empty casino buildings. So at the end of the day, Gretchen Whitmer is in a tough position. Either you gonna bust a move, and you gonna let these casinos open, or you gonna let them close down permanently. Have three big ass buildings. With nothing to occupy, and then you're really gonna see the state economy go down. All those good jobs, the union jobs, and good benefits. I mean, jobs lost. You know what I'm saying? So if she's gonna have these people working in the plants where it's really unsafe, from a lot of plant workers out here, why not let the people you know choose if they want to come back to work to you know to the casino, especially with the unemployment you know not being able with the extra 600, excuse me, only gonna increase it to 200. So I mean. It's kind of she should have waited to to make those announcements at separate times, cause you scaling back up north, but then you opening down in southeast Michigan, you opening the casinos. You know what I'm saying? So people looking like I'm confused. What is she doing? Are we set? Are we getting better? Are we not getting better? So you know, at the same time, I wouldn't go to no damn casino at this day and this time. You out your rabbit mind. They lost all that money from March to now, and you think they're going to let you win something in the casino? Now, the restrictions are 15% capacity. They'll be taking your temperatures. You got to wear a face mask unless it's for a restaurant or uh, uh, identification to see when they see your ID and actually take your hat off and all that type of stuff. Um, so those are going to be the restrictions. So only 15%. Now, I don't know exactly what the maximum capacity is for a casino, but only 15%. I still wouldn't go down there unless it was for some food. That's about it. And at the same time, you know, they're not going to let you win no money. You're going to get ham sandwiched up in there. So if you go into the casino looking to come up and double up your unemployment money, you're going to come out there broke. They're not letting the nigga win a slot machine. They're not letting the sister win a uh, 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 shit r r roulette. They ain't letting you win blackjack, man. They're going to be taking all money for months. You might see a little winner here, a little winner there, but them huge winners walking out with stacks, man, the game going to be rigged, man. I wouldn't go back to the casino until it, it opened up fully. You know what I'm saying? Unless I'm going to give me a sandwich, a corned beef sandwich, or something of that nature. But a lot of people are confused because how you closing up north and you open in southeast Michigan, that's where it pretty much is running rapid. But at some point, you got to you gotta put the economy first. People don't like it. You know what I'm saying? At some point, if you continue to run the economy into the ground, you got to go have gyms that's going to be closed. You're going to have restaurants that are going to be, Detroit going to become a ghost town. This is why Florida has not made the adjustment to, 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 to shutting shit down. This is why Texas really ain't shutting shit down a lot. You, you just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? It's just hard to, to sit there and watch so much stuff shut down, a small business shut down. And then you got these empty buildings. They're not making laws to protect our credit. They ain't like the small personal loans is going to people who don't need it and fortune 500 and multi-million dollar companies. So, How's the small guy supposed to survive? How the casino supposed to survive? And people saying, well, it's not safe. At the end of the day, nobody putting a pistol to your head and telling you got to go to the casino. You got to come to the gym. It's your prerogative. You know, but a lot of people kind of confused if she's shutting down up north and then closing down here. But, you know, it seems like they're going to go on with the school year as well. And that'll be an interesting one because even though it's not killing a lot of kids, kids are messy. Teenagers are messy. They funky. They spray germs a lot. It's going to be a lot of people catching uh, the COVID, especially when it get colder. So it's going to be tricky. They got volunteers for the vaccine, but they don't know if the vaccine is going to be effective until at least next year. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about that. But I wouldn't even dare go on the gamble at the casino at this day and time. But you got some hardcore gamblers 
with a whole bunch of unemployment money in their pocket itching to do so. So that is what it is. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All my social media links in the description. If you got business questions, inquiries, smart shit, video requests, keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash App, PayPal, description. Best way to donate, share the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. We gone.